Hunter Collector here with another video. Before the video starts, I want to let you guys know to make sure you hit that subscribe and notification button. It really helps out showing the support for the channel. I do a bunch of other stuff besides gaming. I do drawing, building, collecting, uh, workouts, cooking, um, and then a bunch of other cool stuff with my friends. Um, and if you want me to put me posting more videos each day, make sure you hit that subscribe button and let me know. Uh, but besides that, let's get right into the video. All right, so I ordered the, um, what is it? Spider Punisher figure. It was from um, Ally Express. It's a custom figure, I guess. I, I'm guessing they used the same mold as the Black Spider Man. And then did a little bit of painting and probably did a little more modifications like they did with my, uh, the one that I got that. I was confused if it was, I got ripped off. Like it's uh, just repainted Spider-Man, uh, like the pizza Spider-Man. I know it's they're using the same mold, but they re repainted this stuff and then did their own modification with their like shin cut and some new thing with their uh, wrist hinges, which I think is really cool. But besides that, let's crack this thing open. All right, so here he is out of the packaging. This guy looks awesome. He is awesome. So he comes with a whole bunch of stuff. So let's go over his accessories first. So he comes with like a little bit of a messed up Peter Parker face. Kind of, it looks a little bit like the um, Black Spider-Man 2-pack with Craven, except that one came with like a black eye. Whereas this one, he painted like a little bit of scratches on him, which I like. Um, then he comes with different interchangeable hands. He has eight hands. So, yeah, as you can see, it is definitely custom made because the red, different types of colored hands they are. Like this in here is colors on some of them. Like this is the regular Spearman, this is the black Spearman hands. So, definitely custom made. So, he comes with uh, wall crawling hands. I and mean, then twipping hands and fisted. It's pretty cool. And then like the gun grabbing hands that I have on him. Um, and then he comes with this cool artillery box here. Uh, it says world famous gun criminal fighter. Uh, I like the detail there. He comes with a lot of art artillery. So let's go over that. So he has, well, first start off with, he has a knife. And then, I don't know if this is, if you're able to take this out. Yep, he comes with this cool, interesting looking pistol. Um, uh, Let's see if I can put it back on him. There we go. Put him up like that. All right, so he comes with like this flashlight that you're supposed to hook up onto your like, um, like belt thing they have over your chest so it stays on there. Um, which I wish they did add uh, give this guy that. And then another tiny tactical knife here. It's pretty cool. And then a pistol, a machine gun. Uh, and then he comes with two grenades. And all this was black. I had to, like, twist these things off on these. Um, and, uh, yeah, shotgun, double barrel, and then two smoke bombs, which are really cool. And I think if you get this, you can paint them and do your own thing with them. Um, but yes, he comes with a whole bunch of really cool stuff. So let's go over the details of this figure here, which I actually love. He looks awesome. So let's start off with the head here. So like the inner eye, it's like silver and then the outer part is white. So I'm pretty sure using the head sculpt from the, like the ultimate Spider-Man head um and then this is like the heads i mean the bo body sculpt of the black spider-man i think yeah 
the symbiote spider-man and then they added this belt here i'm i'm pretty sure this might be from like the uh punisher the punisher uh figure i like what they did with the legs where it has like if you get a little bit of light on it it has like this blue wash on it which i like a lot you can see it through the legs especially the arms you could see a little bit too but not a whole lot yeah, and they just painted over the black Spider-Man symbol. And then, like, when I, uh, like, do that, you could see a little bit of red. But I'm pretty sure that's just paint wear. You won't really notice it. Um, and then it has this holster. Wide it over. Feet. Uh, you can see a little bit of pink because I'm pretty sure might be from i don't know actually i know it's from the either original spider-man figure the pizza spider-man um body mold or black spider-man suit because i see a little bit of red on the boots here this one you don't really see anything it's just white but you see a little pink there um but i think he looks really cool in my in my uh opinion he looks really cool but let's go over his articulation here so oops sorry so head moves up that far head moves down that far oh let me fix my camera up just a little bit here there we go so you get a little just very little head pivoting you can rotate his head arms can move out that far, butterfly joint, bicep swivel, double jointed elbows, if I can. Sorry, I think the paint might be just a little, making it froze, it freezes up there. And then like I've said in the other one, it has like these special hinges for his wrists. So like you can make them go that far, like that, back. And then if you just rotate them, if you can, think you could get them yeah side and side right there which I, th I really like those hinges actually a lot and then uh ab crunch can go down that far back that far uh you can rotate the waist but this kind of like blocks it from going any further than that which i'm pretty sure no one will probably just have him go all the way back like that uh his legs he could kick out not that much actually which actually is not that good, but could kick forward a whole lot. Uh, back, like, zero. And then, yeah, his thigh cut. Double jointed knees. Uh, shin cut, which I've said this is a modification, so is this. Um, and then uh, ankles can move up that far, down that far, pivot. And then it has the toe hinges here, which is something cool. Also, custom made. Um, but besides that, I really love this figure. He, you can get him to do some really cool stuff. I like the stuff that they give us too. And this is like really unique. I recommend you get this guy. I mean, yeah, you may have like a few mess ups here and there throughout the figure, but I mean, it's not really much that you can not fix i mean like like you could probably repaint this give it like another cold white here and then paint over like this hinge right here um and yeah oh yeah one more thing so i'll just show you what the hinge looks like here for the wrist so like that which i think is really cool just rotate it make it go that far that far yeah it's paints a little chipping up just a little bit but yeah which i like a lot. i like this a lot it's really cool in my opinion uh i might just have him go do this uh come on these are pretty hard to get in just to fyi if you get these i got this guy for like i want to say like 20 25 ish dollars maybe 30 not sure 
I'm guessing probably 30 actually. You might have to microwave it to get it back in here. Or just give it a little bit of heat. If I can, come on. You can get in there. Come on, buddy. Get in there. Okay. Yeah, that's the only problem that I have with these. They're a little tougher to get in. But I think this one was a little bit easier again because it was already in there like that. You might have to do a little bit of digging through here to get it like a little bit wider. I think it's be yeah, I think it might be because it's not you're not getting much of a it's not big enough wide enough uh like socket to put it in. You kinda have to like push it right in there. All right, but that's as good as it get in there. I probably may have to do a little bit of digging in there. Maybe fisted hands? Can I do fisted? I think all of these I may have to do a little bit of that. Just a little bit. Sorry. There we go, clicks in. So yeah, if you wanna like get these a little bit easier to get in, uh, maybe just like carve out just a very, very little bit of the inside. This like right here, it's a little bit wider than, where's the whipping hand? I think this is it. I'm not sure if you could quite see the difference here, but this hole is a little, bit, like the one on my right, the uh, gun gripping hand is a little bit wider than the other the whipping hand so you may have to do a little bit of digging in there but uh yeah besides that like the tiny gripes there uh I've, this guy is really cool in my opinion so uh i will put a link in the description on where you could get this guy uh the app that i used to get it was um aliexpress um but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this review. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you check out my buddy's Instagram page at Highlight Photos. He does really cool photos. Also, my two best friends that I usually play Call of Duty with, sometimes with other games. They have card pages. Christian's card page is Bad Buke 767. Uh, Connor's card page, well, he doesn't really have one at the moment. His Jeep's gone. He has a new car. I will update it when he. Yeah like decides to put up an Instagram page for it. Um, to uh, sending, donating to my PayPal, it's supposed to help me out with getting, get me being able to do that and I'll also getting more games uh, to do reactions to. I wanna get the PS5, uh, I'll do a review on it. And then also the games for it. Um, more camera, better camera equipment uh, and a few other things to help make the views a little bit better. And then uh, I will try putting up my own merch store at some point. I just need time to do it. I'm in the middle of baseball right now. I will figure out some way to do it. I do not have a laptop myself at the moment. So if you guys could help me out by donating to my PayPal, it would be really awesome. But besides that, I, um, if you really enjoy my nerdy, funny gaming, uh, workout, uh, sports videos, other stuff like that. Uh, make sure you like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.